call the June 18, 2019 Wilmette Public Library District Board of Trustees meeting to order. All announcements were done and put in terms of the legal bulletin, email, electronic, uh, at the website, as well as at the Village Hall and Metro <coughs> Station. Uh, we'd like to do a, and we'd like to call it to order at 7.40. Can we have roll call? Do we need a motion? Do we need a motion or a second to call me? No motion. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do roll call. Roll call. Okay. And Trustee Riddle. Present. Trustee Johnson. Here. Trustee Rogers. Here. Trustee Wolf. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee Barsh is here. Uh, there is no presentation today. Earlier we had a one and a half hour uh, legal orientation with a counselor, and so it's going to be an eventful evening. So. We have two visitors present. Do you all have any comments or anything you'd like to say? Okay. Thank you. One's observing from the newspaper and the other from the League of Women Voters. Thanks. Okay. Can we have the treasurer's report? I need to approve the minutes from me. Oh. I will motion to approve the minutes from May. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? A question. Okay. A question. Um, for the meeting minutes, um, I noticed that some of the discussion isn't um, completely recorded and in writing, in text. Is it because we'll, we all will always record the meetings by video in case people want to go back and see what It's not a transcript. It's generally just, as opposed to being full detail, it's just of most of the action. And discussion and su it's a summary mm -hmm. of actions who made the motion, what was agreed on, who voted for it, who didn't vote for it, and it's future action and any recommendations. So, but still, discussions I think are worth maybe going into further detail about. This is a summary, but not so much of a discussion summary in some of them. In some of them. So, that's, I guess, an observation I had. And okay, so we'll duly note that. Okay. And generally, they're also, when you, because you've been assigned to review the minutes, you will see all the attachments that generally go with them. Okay, and I those, didn't hear the first part, Lisa, sorry. You've been assigned to review the oh, minutes me. at the end. Oh, sure. <laughs> at the the end of the I will be assigned. <laughs> yeah, you and uh, Joe Fishman, that's one of your assignments. Yeah. And so at the end, you'll see it, and then all the attachments generally go with the minutes from the prior meeting that you've got in yes, that Yes, I saw that with the okay. attachments. Okay. 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 Can we do a vote now? Oh. <laughs> okay. Trustee Rue. Aye. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshis. Yes. Okay. And now the treasurer's report. Yes. Thank you. Um, May is not a month with lots of revenue coming in. Uh, we had just under twenty-seven thousand dollars in general real estate taxes, eighteen four seventy-one in general fund interest. A little under fourteen thousand in replacement taxes, and a little under ten thousand in miscellaneous income. Um, obviously, the majority of the um, real estate tax money comes in in the sixty to ninety days following issuance of the bills, uh, the, the real estate tax property tax bills, um, and so we're between uh, the initial. Uh, billing uh, and the second billing, which typically comes within the next 60 to 90 days, uh, depending on what the um, assessor's office is doing with respect to the changes in assessed value. Uh, the expenditures report <coughs> spent just under 87 percent of the budget at 11 months. We would potentially have uh, almost 92 percent, so we're under budget, um, but not by a huge amount. 
Um, there's nothing extraordinary in the um, check detail or the expenses. It's an ordinary May. Um, with that summary, I move that we approve the May bills and salaries. You have in the attachments a list of the bills and salaries for the month of May. One question, please. Yes. Yeah, I know you've explained this before, Anthony. Uh, remind me what overdrive is and how that fits into the whole ebook system, please. Sure. Overdrive is um, our most popular ebook service. Um, it's also been known as My Media Mall. Uh, the app that might be on your phone or iPad is known as Libby. Um, overdrive um, is the where you get most of your audiobooks, ebooks, et etc. And is that one of those that we pay per use? system? It's licensed. Um, Hoopla is the pay-per-use service. So um, with Overdrive, when we purchase a title there, um, it depends upon how the publisher wants to assign their fees. It could be assigned by within a calendar year, you have unlimited use of it. It yeah. could be a metered usage, so um, the metered ones are typically 26 circulations. They figure that would be, you know, in a 52-week year, they could assign it for two weeks per circ, et cetera. Um, there's different, it's it's wonky the way that that's set up. Yeah. But, but it, it's more, it's, it's collected in the same way that regular library collections typically are. And last one, are any of them sort of like a permanent license? Is that part of the ebook? There's no such thing as a permanent digital license as far as I'm aware of. Okay. They all expire. Yeah. Thank you. I'll second the motion. Is there a second? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Any other questions? Okay. Roll. 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 Okay. Trustee Riddle? Aye. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Aye. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Barges? Yes. So we're now at action items, and if you go behind tab number four, what you'll see is consent in lieu of joint annual meeting of the sole member and all the trustees are members of our endowment fund. There's a 5013C that was initially started when we thought that it, when the library thought that it needed a 5013C in order to accept donations. There has been no activity on that 5013C, but the library has kept it because it took quite a bit of energy to set it up, and right now it has about $37,300 in it. Okay? And so this is basically, we elect not to have a meeting, and so this is basically approval of that. I move approval of the consent in lieu of joint annual meeting for the directors of the Wilmette Public Library Endowment Fund. I second it. And for the record, just okay. to be clear, it's C3, not 3C. C3, okay. <laughs> That's the, the endowment C3. fund's yes, name. It's one, yeah. Okay. And then are we... It's the category of 501. It's the category. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So two quick questions. Um, are we... Is the C3 permitted to transfer the 36000 or whatever to the library's general fund if the C3 wish to? I don't believe so because a 501C3 operates under different rules. Yeah, but we could make, I mean, as a C3, we could grant it to... Um, we treated this as a special project fund in some past years. Um, from time to time, there have been there's been discussion of any of, of possible changes in how we manage this, um, but it's been determined each time it's been discussed to leave it alone. Um, it would be appropriate if we wanted to entertain that possibility for it to be reviewed uh, with recommendations back to the board that could be referred to the Finance Committee. But it's not a good idea, in my judgment, to make any changes without having conducted such a review. Because there are legal issues associated with how the money is spent. Um, I frankly don't remember all the detail of how this money was raised and mm -hmm. whether there were any restrictions at the time that the money was received. And that would also need to be reviewed 
to be sure that we don't violate any of the provisions that it was donated under. No. We have considered in the past whether to put bequests into this fund, and we have again decided not to, and to manage those separately. Because, as in the case of the one that's dedicated to armchair travelers, it's, it's a restricted contribution, and it just is easier to manage if it's not mingled with other funds. So this is an issue which could be examined further. There's nothing wrong with that. But any change should occur only after such an examination. I would ask Anthony to take a look at it. Um, you know, I'm pretty familiar with C3s, and we got to file returns every year, uh, and there's ongoing you know, compliance expenses. And if it's just got 36000 in the bank and we don't plan to do much of anything with it, I'd ask you to take a look at it and, you know, consider whether we ought to just shut it down so we don't pay to keep something open if we're not using it. Certainly well, not tonight, but the cost is relatively small, small because our business manager actually handles the filings. And I had talked about so it's just a staff, ta uh, you know, activity. It's nothing that's costing us a great deal of additional money. The I filing fee is fifteen dollars a year. I, I mean, I don't see the purpose of it. So if we're not using it, I, don't I see think the Barb, of it. Barb had said that basically it took so much trouble to set it up. And they didn't know that they could take money from the library to, you know, the library can take donations without having it, that they just kept it. So that was, okay. Yeah. I, I agree. I, I, I like the idea of reviewing the the fund and, and maybe the holding period of proceeds in that fund. Um, maybe after, how, how long do you think the $36,000 balance has been? 37? It's 37. Mm -hmm. A number of years. Um, maybe, maybe we've not a review would specifically help. targeted a plan for the expenditure of these funds. That could be evaluated. But our primary focus has been on the <coughs> special reserve, which is how we've paid for capital improvements. So I don't, I don't even, as I said, I don't even recall the specifics of any restrictions that might have been attached to the contributions that came into this fund. Um, but it's been it's been at or around the $37,000 figure um, for a long time. Is it worth asking Roger to see if we have any, can do something with it? Well, you're yeah. going to pay more to probably get his advice. Uh, that's true. Why don't yeah. we start yeah. with yeah. Barb because yeah, yeah, he yeah, has yeah. it. Good idea. And yeah. the endowment yeah. fund expense was 20 bucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That makes, that makes sense. You yeah. date. Yeah. Well, and I don't think that's a, that's certainly not costly. $15, $20 no. isn't costly to keep it there. But a review, it might be nice if it's been held there several years. Maybe we decide as a board or maybe the finance committee decides well, why don't we after take it two to years and maybe it could be in a CD or something like Buy some that. books with it or something. Or buy some books. Why don't we turn it over to the finance Absolutely. committee? Absolutely. That's a great at this idea. Point in time. And if there's a vote still out there. You want to do a roll call? Okay. <laughs> Trustee Rowe. Aye. Trustee Johnson. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Thank you. Trustee Barges. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're now looking at the proposed annual budget for fiscal year 2019-20. Would you like to, Trustee Rogers? The, the Finance Committee met and reviewed both the um, budget uh, and appropriation uh, ordinance, and they also reviewed uh, the um, uh, special reserve uh, fund activity that's uh, later in this agenda. Um, no changes, no substantive changes were were recommended, uh, and the committee uh, approved and recommends that the board adopt the uh, budget and appropriation. Um, as I recall, we're planning to do that next month. Is that the formal date? 
just to be clear, before you this evening is the budget, not the appropriation. Um, okay. Historically, this board has, has approved both of them simultaneously. Um, as we were discussing earlier with Roger, um, we we're going to be filing the appropriation separately this year just to create that distinction between the two documents. Okay, so do we want to move to a pass the budget now? Mm -hmm. Correct. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Second. Yeah. Who seconded? Me. Jan. Yeah. Discussion? I have a question. I recall from, I attended the Finance Committee meeting. Is there a step after the Finance Committee meeting of present, presenting to another board or another committee? I don't, I, rec I recall that <coughs> being a step, but maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I was confused. After that meeting, was there another present, that you presented those findings or that discussion to another body? No, or this no? is the board this to which board. it's okay. presented. I see. Board. This board makes the re takes the recommendation of the finance committee and decides whether to act on it. I see. Okay. And so the person, I don't happen to have a copy of the budget in front of me, but uh, as I recall, the, um, uh, if you have it, great. Yeah. Thank you. But the... Uh,